An update to breaking news that we were first to bring you at noon. A woman is dead and a man is seriously injured after an ATV accident on a street in North Tulsa. Two News Oklahoma's Shea Smith spoke to police about how dangerous ATVs can be on city streets. Go find a, you know, off road somewhere. There's, there are plenty of places that, that are good for riding these things and not on the public street, certainly not on a busy street like this. Police say this is an accident that didn't need to happen. They say an ATV collided with an SUV at the intersection of Latimer and Main. What we've determined is that the uh, SUV was uh, crossing the intersection when the uh, ATV uh, ran into the side of the SUV. Police say the ATV involved might not have had the proper licensing to be on a city street. If it's a licensed ATV, you know, has a license plate and all that, which this one does not. So it does not appear at this time that that was a, a street legal ATV. The woman on the ATV died at the hospital and the man was seriously injured. TPD says they weren't wearing helmets and they believe speed could have played a role. What we're trying to determine are some speeds, are there speeds involved? Um, could the driver of the SUV have seen the ATV coming? Uh, in time to have yielded to it. The driver of the SUV was not injured and she stayed on scene and is cooperating with police as they investigate. I don't have any reason to believe she didn't stop at the stop sign. The, the question is whether or not she could have seen them before pulling away from the stop sign. I know there were at least some parked vehicles along the roadway here. Although police say some ATVs are legal on city streets, they aren't always safe. Well, unfortunately, it seems like we do see uh, more and more of these uh, four-wheel ATVs uh, operating on the street and uh, obviously not wearing proper protective gear, no helmets, and uh, it's a smaller vehicle, it's harder for people to see it, and uh, you know, this is unfortunately a tragedy when something like this happens. In Tulsa, Shea Smith, 2 News, Oklahoma.